Hi, I'm doing something a little bit different on this trip. Uh, got here a little bit later than I thought I would. Uh, oh, by the way, I'm in uh, Williamsburg. Uh, flew into Newport News. Got in about 45 minutes late. Uh, missed the first bus by five minutes. Had to wait an hour. So it took me about three hours to get to Jamestown. I uh, decided I would stay the night so I could actually see some stuff. It's 8 o'clock in the morning, and I just checked out of the Holiday Inn, and I'm on my way walking to historic Williamsburg's Visitor Center, where I will head back to Jamestown. Uh, walking right now, and I'm actually going to do a little bit of video on this trip. Uh, so just uh, stay tuned. Okay, I've been walking for a few minutes. I just passed the visitor parking center for the Williamsburg's visitor center. There's a bus that comes around. I don't really feel like waiting on the bus. So I'm just going to walk from the parking lot up to the Williamsburg visitor center. Uh, from there, we're going to catch a bus, go to Jamestown. Uh, got to walk around a little bit yesterday. It's very cool, very cool. Uh, 400th anniversary of Jamestown this year. The uh, settlement founded 1607, which would be 400 years ago. Uh, and going to go around Jamestown a little bit, uh, watch some glass blowing, uh, take a few more pictures, actually explore the area. Yesterday I had less than an hour, so I didn't really get to see a whole lot. Uh, I leave Jamestown, catch a bus back here to Williamsburg's Visitor Center. Then from the Williamsburg Visitor Center, going to take another bus to Yorktown, uh, Battlefield. Uh, not sure what else is at Yorktown, but uh, Historic Triangle of Virginia, birthplace of America. Uh, oh, and here's a sign right now. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, it says, Colonial Williamsburg Visitor Center, to my left along with downtown Williamsburg, but I'm not going to downtown Williamsburg, just going to the visitor center. Uh, so I will give another update in just a few minutes, which for you will be only a few seconds. And thank you for watching the adventures of Derek. All right, I just made it to the Colonial Williamsburg Visitor Center. Uh, it took roughly 20 minutes to walk here from Holiday Inn, which wasn't really bad considering I stopped a couple times to make sure I was heading the right way because some of the signs not really that great. Uh, first bus comes by, picks up at 9 o'clock going to Jamestown, so I'll walk around the visitor center for a little bit, take a few pictures. Uh, hopefully this is actually open, might not be. So uh, if it's not, I'll just sit down. It's, uh, yeah, it's going to be a good day. Temperature's supposed to reach 98. Not really going to be that humid, though. Yeah. Ooh, sun's bright early in the morning. So I am, as I said, at the Colonial Williamsburg Visitor Center. And next time you see me, I will be in Jamestown. Okay, I am now in Jamestown, Virginia. The site of the first permanent English settlement. I am in historic Jamestown, which is where the actual site is. There's also another section uh, called Jamestown Settlement that's a little bit more of a museum. I'm going to go there in just a little bit, but I'm about to start a walking tour. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to take the ranger-led tour or not. I'll decide that on the fly. It starts in about five minutes. But I'm walking across a little bridge right now, going over what appears to be swampland. Looks like kind of harsh territory to me. Yeah. A little hard to imagine people living here 400 years ago, just coming over, getting off of a boat and saying, all right, we're setting up camp, we're gonna stay here. Yeah. Pretty interesting though. And I will, of course, uh, check back and show you some of the sites and I will show you right now the fort 
picture you can see the flag shooting up there that would be what was at the time 400 years ago the British Union Jack which was composed of the cross of St. George representing England and the blue and white saltier cross of St. Andrew for Scotland who hopefully here soon will become independent once again and there is a big monument here commemorating those who came across the big ocean 400 years ago to establish freedom all right here's the big monument I will actually read everything to you because I'm not really sure if it's going to show up on video it says Virginia Company of London chartered April 16 or April 10th 1606 founded Jamestown and sustained Virginia 1606 through 1624 representative government in America began in the first house of Burgess assembled here July 30th 1619 so doing the math you can see that for 12 years there was no government in what is now America and apparently it worked fairly well Jamestown, the first permanent colony of the English people, the birthplace of Virginia and the United States, May 13th, 1607. And inscribed here, Advice of London Council for Virginia to the Colony, 1606. Lastly and chiefly, the way to prosper and achieve good success is to make yourselves all of one mind for the good of your country and your own, and to serve and fear God, the giver of all goodness, for every plantation which our Heavenly Father has not planted shall be rooted out. Good advice, although it sounds somewhat socialist when saying for the good of all people and here it says this monument erected by the United States Anno Domini 1907 to commemorate the 300th anniversary of the settlement here so this monument being 100 years old so as you can see uh, Jamestown very impressive uh, 400 years old and lots of monuments set up to commemorate this uh, very very historic area and actually very important to me uh, on my grandmother's mother's side of the family I actually found a family tree online that traced the genealogy back here to Jamestown uh, George and Timothy Swinhoe whose last name became Swindoll came to Jamestown I'm having a little bit of trouble actually confirming that a monument to Captain John Smith which having researched him uh, found out that he was actually a bit of an ass yeah. and I'll go into detail about that later but uh, here is the monument to Captain John Smith here's the site of the fort and it appears that uh, there's some archaeologist or amateur archaeologist about to do some more digging this is the old church that a rebuilt house and straight in front the James River I will do a little bit more walking and fill you in a little bit more on Jamestown in just a few seconds. Okay, I decided not to do the park ranger guided tour. I'm just going to do a self-guided tour, rely on the information that I was given at the uh, visitor center, and also they've got little plaques all over telling you different things. Uh, back on the subject of John Smith. He sort of uh, didn't really care too much for the colonists that came over. Said that they were lazy, 
worthless. He had to do everything for them. But every other diary kept by all of the other colonists, completely opposite. Although, I guess they would be a little biased saying that they weren't lazy. However, uh, I would tend to believe the words of 105 men over the word of just one man. So, that is my opinion of Captain John Smith. I am now in the section known as Back Street. Here being the road. There being the river. Hence the term Back Street because it's back from the river. Something odd about colonial America or Jamestown at the time. The common folk lived along the river. The upper class, if you will, the lawyers, the ones who later became politicians in the House of Burgess, lived here along Back Street, this being one of the houses or remains of one of the houses and parts of other houses poking up out of the ground. Not quite sure. This is probably reconstructed here. I will find out in just three seconds here. The sign says the Ambler House. Ambler House was built by the Ambler family in 1750s. Okay, so this was not actually a Jamestown building. It was built later. However, I did find it odd that the uh, upper class, if you will, did not live on the waterfront, which is now where the upper class in America tends to live. If anyone is living on waterfront, it's going to be upper class, not common folk. Just a little oddity, or what I saw as odd, about Colonial Jamestown. Okay, I am inside the fort right now. This is an artist rendition of what the fort looked like. And this is the archaeological portrayal of, well, not portrayal, this is uh, what they're actually digging up. Uh, pretty much all amateur archaeologists, uh, they, they may be receiving some money, but I believe most of them are college students except for the uh, balding gentleman right there. And I'm off to explore more of historic Jamestown. Alrighty, I am now at the Jamestown settlement. Just left historic Jamestown, which is the actual settlement. And this is more a recreation of what Jamestown was like after the original settlement. Uh, here we have the row of flags starting with the states in order of how they ratified the Constitution, going all the way down, then second row, coming up, how they were admitted, with the last flags of Arizona, Alaska, and Hawaii. Interesting fact about the Hawaii flag, it's the only U.S. flag, or the only U.S. state flag to include the British Union Jack. Okay, it's approximately 1 o'clock. Just got back to the Colonial Williamsburg Visitor Center from Jamestown and Jamestown Settlement. I did not go through the Jamestown Settlement. Uh, that park is run by the State Park of Virginia, not the National Park Service. Uh, Jamestown, you know, historic Jamestown, where it was earlier, that's run by National Park Service. So it would have cost extra money to go into the recreation of what Jamestown was like, uh, similar to historic Williamsburg, uh, or colonial Williamsburg, rather. It's run by the, the Virginia State Park Service, so again, would cost additional to go through all of their parks. 
So I am about to head back to the airport. I uh, would like to go to Yorktown, but unfortunately, because it takes 30 minutes to get there, 30 minutes to get back here, and then two hours to get to the airport, I will not have the time to do that. So I'm about to catch a bus and head back to Newport News.